In this episode, we cover Apple news, and that's really it. This is Tech Dose. Welcome to Tech Dose, where we give you a weekly injection of gadget and tech news, well actually, Apple news. I'm your host Dan for this episode, so let's go into the first piece of news. So it's a new week, which means there's been more iPad free news and leaks. There's one post on Mac Rumors where they claim to have an iPad free front glassing, so it has no changes to it. <sighs> That's boring. And it will have a thicker casing. Wow, these iPad free news are so, so exciting. I can't wait for it. So good. So it was a really boring week for the iPad 3. There was nothing really left to actually know about the iPad 3 because there's been so many leaks out there right now. So we know right now it'll have double the pixels, which will be called dubbed the Retina display, just like the iPhone. It'll have better cameras, which might be 8 megapixels, which will be dubbed 1080p. And a new processor, either called the A5X or the A6. I think it'll be called the A6 because the A5X sounds like it's a prototype. Yeah! That was boring. And it'll most likely be announced on March 7th. That's, that's really it. I definitely won't be getting it. I have the iPad 2 right now and I'm even getting bored of that. It's because I really desperately want the Asus Transformer Prime. It looks so amazing. It is the best Android tablet out there. It actually has a keyboard dock so you can just dock it in and it just looks amazing. It's brilliant. It's the best Android tablet. It's the fastest one. Oh, I so want it. Next story. So Apple announced their next version of the desktop operating system called Mountain Lion, which they quietly announced couple weeks ago. And the annoying thing is it was straight after Rob edited the last Tech Dose episode which is right here if you want to go and see it. You've probably heard about it already so I won't really talk about it. So there's a link in the description on a post from the future again and it's a great post It covers everything about it and it gives his opinion on what he thinks about it. So here's my opinion. It seems a really great update. I'm really excited for the notification center reminders and messages and it'll be available in the summer. Next story. So iMore has reported that they have heard that Apple is ready to ditch the dock connector on the iPad, iPod Touch, iPhone and iPod Nano for a micro dock. So if Apple was doing that, they would create more room inside the iPhone, which means you could have a bigger battery inside it or other components. And it's just like the switch from the SIM to the micro SIM, where basically they could fit more room inside and it's just a smaller little component, which is a lot better. And it just makes more sense being smaller because then you can fit everything inside and it's just a win-win situation, really. And we'll probably see it in the next generation iPhone. I'm really sorry that all of this tech dose was all about Apple news, but this is what really caught my attention. But next week there'll be MWC, which stands for Mobile World Congress, so expect to hear a lot of mobile phones coming out in the next Tech Dose. So it's question time, what do you think the iPad 3 will feature? Comment down below, because I want to know. So you can follow Rob and I both on Twitter, there's links in the description below, and also news links are in the description below. So thanks for watching, please subscribe for more weekly injection of tech news. Stay tuned for next week where we probably won't talk about Apple, and talk about loads and loads of Android phones. So, see you in the next one. Peace.